Screening and quantitation of cool looting isobaric compounds is a challenge in LCMS analysis. In this video, we demonstrate that Bruker's tripped ion mobility mass spectrometry instrument, the TIMSTOF, and the Bruker easy to use processing software task enable separation and quantitation of such co looting isobaric compounds. We present an example of the opioid pain reliever tramadol and the antidepressant O desmethyl Venla vaccine that are aforesaid isobaric analytes that are known to be easily mixed up. The respected extracted iron chromatograms show that these compounds are not well separated. So how is it possible to separate such isobaric co-eluting analytes? Both compounds have different structures but the same formula, the same mass, the same retention time and similar fragment spectra. However, they have different collusion cross-sections CCS. Brookes Timstoff accumulates ions and separates them according to the ion mobility. For processing the acquired Timstoff data, Brookes easy to use screening and quantitation software task is to use. Let's have a look into the software. The acquired data with Tramadol and Odesmother Venla vaccine will be opened as one batch. In the next step, the batch will be processed. The concentration of tramadol is 200 nanogram per milliliter in each sample and old desmethyl venlafaxine has a concentration range from 5 to 500 nanogram per milliliter. You can watch the software processing. During this process, it is possible to already look at the analysis results. We select an analyte and a data file. The different tables give a detailed result overview immediately. The batch results, the analysis results, and the detailed error results. The mobilogram view shows the overlaid extract ion mobilograms of precursor and broadband CID fragment ions. Old desmethyl venlafaxine and tramadol are separated based on the ion mobility. Two separated extracted iron chromatograms of tramadol and old desmethyl venlafaxine filtered by iron mobility are generated. Due to the high iron mobility resolution and the excellent accuracy of the determined CCS values, quantitation becomes possible. The next step is to quantify our compounds. In the calibration function graph view, the graph, the equation and the coefficient of determination are displayed. The calibration residual plot view provides a graphical overview of all residues. In our example, all residues are within 20%, which is fully compliant with relevant guidelines. Quantities and information such as accuracy and the relative standard deviation can be viewed in a results table. In summary, we have demonstrated that ion mobility via Brookes Timstoff can separate target compounds that are not separated only by LC and AMS alone. Brookes software task enables simple and efficient processing of Timstoff data. With Bruker, Quantitation of isobaric compounds becomes possible.